Black Panther 2 made $330 million worldwide. That is box office, yes? It's a huge number of black people. Give yourselves a hand, a round of applause. The greatest American alive. Do you want to make $100 million in America? Make a movie about a pretend black superhero and watch black people turn out in droves. Boy, we're going to stand in lines and eat these popcorns and give all these good people all of our money so that we can see a pretend version of ourselves. Ain't that exciting? We want to make believe. <laughs> I don't want to make believe. I want to see accurate representation of myself. I want to see the real Black Panther. Can somebody please show me the real Black Panther? Toussaint Louverture led the rebellion of the only known slave revolt that was successful in the history of the world. Saint-Domingue, the richest colony of France, was the real Wakanda in 1790. You looking for black excellence. You looking for black kings and queens, right? In Saint-Domingue, 10% of the slave owners, they was black. They was free color people. In 1790, you wasn't hiring people to work in your plantation. You was buying slaves. Well, you was black or white if you had a plantation you was buying slaves and slaves worked on your plantation tell the truth and get some power 10% of San Domingue they were free colored people who owned slaves they had plantations they was rich understanding our history understand the real Wakanda and the real Black Panther Toussaint Louverture is important for us to fight for our freedom huh being a superhero ain't nothing but good people doing hard things in tough times Toussaint Louverture was fighting for slavery and what are you fighting for is America perfect if you can tell me that America is perfect then you don't have to worry about doing nothing you don't have to be no superhero right now americans are looking for a superhero and instead of looking for t'challa we should be looking in the mirror at ourselves if you want to look backwards into the past and find an actual representation of who you are and what is possible you look at tucson louverture rest in peace chadwick boseman you are a fantastic actor but for folks to be in the movies crying about t'challa hold on hold on a minute for you to be in the movie theater crying about t'challa a fictional character What's we doing, man? What are we doing? I was reading The Black Jacobins this morning by C.L.R. James, and there was something that made me cry. In San Domingue, the slaves, they lost one in three babies. One in three babies to something called jaw sickness. Midwives was killing babies on purpose to save them from the cruelty of slavery. Toussaint Louverture existed in a time where the average slave only lived for two years. The average slave only lived for two years. Holy Christ. A free slave at 30 that turns into a general at 50 that, turn, that owns a plantation own slaves and then he leads the revolution to take on an entire nation they de they defeated france the greatest slave rebellion in the history of the world if we depend on movies to tell us who we are then we'll be lost forever tucson louverture was five foot eight shout out to the small men <laughs> us five foot eight individuals can fight for freedom to be superheroes and the history books will know your name if you do good things if you do good work and you be of service if you save 400 000 slaves you could be one of the greatest men in history also <laughs> that's a bad motherfucker i'm sitting back and i'm watching Django with my son and my son said daddy is Django real i looked at my son and i had to say man nah he's not real but i want to be able to tell my son about tucson louverture and say man this nigga was real the real deals fucking t'challa the real deal black panther a freed slave that became a slave owner that became the leader of the revolution that's freed 400 000 slaves that's exciting. That's a movie. I want to see that. Somebody please put that in a script and put that on the big screen. We act like we're so distant from slavery when slavery ain't nothing but labor and the greatest commodity in the history of the world has always been labor. And right now, I don't care where you work at. I don't care how much money you make. You are a laborer. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Tom Brady, all these dudes are laborers. They are employees, the highest paid employees, but they have to clock in and do the work. They're putting their bodies on the line every day just like you're putting your body on the line every day you know you want a, a four-day work week instead instead of a seven-day work week all these things are negotiable if you decide to be a superhero every american citizen should have two weeks of paid vacation and at least one week of sick leave hey that's fighting for labor we need a tucson louver tour to fight for labor and if you don't like history and you like make pretend characters then we need a black panther to come and fight for labor so that you can have two weeks of paid vacation so that you can have a week of sick leave that sounds so exciting that should be a movie the american labor revolution in 2023 holy that's exciting history will show you an accurate representation of yourself all you gotta do is go read 
the black Jacobins to tell you how nasty slavery was. You read the first 30 pages and you'll start crying. It's horrendous. The conditions that the human person had to endure to get to this place. And I acknowledge the fact that I sit in this place right now. I'm in the greatest place in the history of the world, the United States of America. I live here. My family lives here. Could you imagine if we had 10,000 T'Challas? Could you imagine if we had 10,000 Tucson Louvatours? There is no shackles and bondage that's stopping us from going to be actual free people in America. The only thing that's stopping us is the limitations of our imagination. How big can you dream? God damn. How big is your imagination? Imagination can make you $330 million in America. Ta-da. People will stand in line to come and see your thoughts if you have good thoughts. Good thoughts can make you one of the most powerful people in the history of the world. Can you tell a better story? Can you just go read a good book and tell that story? And I ain't talking about the Bible neither. I'm talking about the Black Jacobins by C.L.R. James. Understanding your history and taking your history and not using it to say I'm a victim, but to be powerful, man. If a free slave can take over a nation, what can you do? That's exciting. You could be T'Challa. <laughs> Or you could be a real man, Toussaint Louverture, the real Black Panther. When history meets my reality, then oh my goodness, I get excited. It's time to get excited, boy. I'm so damn excited. Hell yeah, the greatest American alive, baby. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive, baby. The greatest American alive. 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 I want to see accurate representations of myself on the big screen. You hear me? I want to see five foot eight daddies kicking ass and taking names. The real T'Challa is in this motherfucker. The real Wakanda is in. Ooh, shit. With the dad bod. God damn it. <laughs>